What's this we see behind Jason and in front of Red Rolly Tower of Doom? I don't know if that's the full name of that, but yes, we have Nakitoma Plaza 7. It is going in the back room, so you will never see it beyond this video. Uh, and this is a major, major project. Probably one of the most major projects out of all the stuff that I've done in this shop. This is the one area that I haven't changed in well over 20 years. I mean, I've made slight changes and stuff, but not like I'm about to do with Red Rolly Tower. I mean, with, well, Red Rolly Tower is gonna end up back there after all is said and done, you'll see. But uh, Nakitoma, yeah, this is, this one's a big one. Yep, y'all caught a brief glimpse of it in the production of Red Rolly Tower, but we have this area. I built a workbench over 20 years ago. Heavy duty, super strong. Yep, old computer still works. This area, this area, like I mentioned, is just, it's horrible. There's, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to it. This workbench I designed and built with my very own two little hands 20 plus years ago, I would say 21 years ago, is how long ago I built this whole bench. Added shelves over there, built shelving on top of the bench, and then eventually that got put there, and there's a filing cabinet under there. There's stuff stacked under this whole wooden bench. Uh, but yes, this is time for this to change what the end goal here is going to be those are four foot wide there is a 96 inch wide that would have filled up this perfectly but they're 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 pricey it's like i can buy two four foot pieces that would be and it's cheaper it's almost a hundred dollars cheaper just to buy two of the four foot now they're not quite as heavy heavy duty but that's okay. Uh, I can deal with having two separate ones side by side. So yes, ideally, boom, boom. Nakitoma Plaza 7, Nakitoma Plaza 8. Computers set on the end of it here. That bench moved over. All this moved out. Once that shelving is built, it'll come out to right about here. And then we can roll. We can get rid of this. This will go home. I can take all that off, pile it on top of that. And then we can roll Red Rolly Tower. Here, we can also put another one or two in front of it as well. And then if I need to access the shelves here, I can just roll Red Rollies out of the way. So that's what I'm doing. And it's a very ambitious project because there, honestly, is a lot of stuff just thrown, piled up there. Ideally, what I'd also like to do is have a little section somewhere in there where I put like wood pieces like I've got two by fours and, and some street sheet metal strips angle iron strips I'd like to integrate a section for all long type objects to go back there, too So yeah, this is this is a, a big one almost as big as the back room the back room which we did in this video here that was a pretty big project because I had to tear out a lot of wood, but this one's gonna even be even bigger because that, because I gotta answer the phone and because of just how, you know, I gotta move this stuff somewhere while I'm doing it and building it. So it's just gonna be a wreck for a few days. So that was kind of the easy part. Now I gotta figure out where to stack a whole bunch of lever handles and parts and pieces so that I can move this cabinet out, which means this is gonna have to go. I literally don't have anywhere else to put this in the shop right now. So we're gonna have to deal with like a little maze in here for the time being. I may have to put Carson up somewhere just to temporarily hold everything uh, and we're just gonna have to zigzag through here I gotta have somewhere to put this to move move it right 
Yeah. Yeah, Jason. Yeah. Huh. this off right here uh, and at this moment it's all pretty heavy stuff locks 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 uh, this shelf was built to kind of add an addition to this but like it's got mostly just nonsense in it like here I built a uh, I built a little training rig or whatever with some dials I was gonna finish that and i just never got around to it like this is a totally empty box so there's very underutilized space right here and once we get all these lever handles out of the way you'll also see that i have a bunch of other old decorative hardware old magazines and stuff that just you know a lot of them need to be thrown away some of them have articles about us in them so they're keepsakes uh, but for the most part yeah and that old fella, the old gateway, the old gateway 2000. Boom, look at that. I got, a, I got a floppy drive in this bitch. Intel inside, hoes. I know some of y'all want to know the specs on this. So it's the, uh, it's the digital Celebris GL 6180 Windows 98, I think. And the very last thing, one of the last few things that is in this shop from the old owner are two of these chairs and uh and they're falling apart on the bottom you could break off that plastic and they'd be just fine so uh but they're they're nasty they've been used as dog you know ollie sat in one for a long time that was his you can see his hair there so, so i'm gonna vacuum it off and roll it out to the uh the curve and put a free sign on it i've got one more right there and that one we're probably just out of honor gonna keep this one because uh this lady passed away uh, a long time ago like right after i started here and uh that was obviously her chair all right now we gotta figure out how the f to move all that and that and that is gonna be heavy and i gotta take the pegboard down and it's pretty damn well built and i gotta take the shelf down and it's pretty dang well built there are studs all through there one two three four probably four or five studs on the back six by no oh, that's eight by eight by two three of them by ten foot eight by three by two by ten foot so just that top of that bench is like heavy as f and i used four by fours for the legs bolted it through look at this look at this workmanship right here this was this was before impacts and uh and now yeah i used hand drills driven by driven by oxen to power this because we didn't have power to yeah well, we did have power tools we had but I, I probably used a makita 9 volt because that's what 9.6 volt because that was what all our drills were, were the were those. We had we still got still got tons of those. I'm going home right now. Day two. What I have earned, man.
Uh, so I'm out of time yet again. Just another day's worth of getting stuff out. I gotta figure out what to do with some of these hinges and stuff down here that we don't sell cabinet hinges and hate to throw them away because they're perfectly good. We sold some on eBay for a while, but dealing with hinges is a pain in the ass because you gotta count the screws and uh, it's just something that, you know, we could put on eBay, but to inventory it along with everything else makes it just that much harder to keep track of. So, several hundred dollars worth of cabinet hinges there. And, uh, and yeah, we're, we're working our way back here. Looks like we have Baldwin stuff there. That all needs to be put on the back shelf back there. And we got some door closers and stuff here. Oh, wait. Oh, Lockwood mortise locks. Old, old door closers. Uh, and once we get this, 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 and this, and that out of the way, uh, we'll be able to move this out a little bit. And this is when it's going to get bad. That's when it's going to get bad. Real bad. Day three. This is kind of how I have to, I have to like at the end of the day or at the end of the day, it's all piled everywhere on Kim's desk. And, and then I have to move it all over here until I have time to come back after I've done, you know, real work. Uh, and uh, I've done, I've, I've emptied a couple of containers down here, the bald one and stuff. And uh, yeah, the problem is, is is now the desk has got to come down completely so i've cleared a spot on kim's desk to put the computer for right now and then i'm going to start I put it's time to pull all this down uh in the meantime i'm just going to have to kind of stack everything out out there hopefully this will be done by wednesday midweek next week but you know so i'm gonna i'm gonna top off uh Iron Man here a little bit more with some various things and uh, yeah here we go again since I have plenty of these y'all seen the video uh, I'm gonna put some of these old magazines and stuff in there I don't I don't I don't you know you've got a lot of time and work invested in like the 2000 model update for GM Ford Tells you all the the six even six cut facts and and this was this was right when uh, you know the pass key generation and the new computer chips came into being. So OG information that I had done taught given to me straight by Stratech, by the way. Oh I need a light. jabby in the side, especially when you do that high up. Doesn't seem like much, but it's coming along. But once again, the day is over. Friday, 
Tomorrow's Saturday. Saturday morning live season. Uh, five episode shoot, 20 something, three, 22, 23. Uh, I'll be talking about this, but I won't necessarily be, be showing it, so. And as mentioned, it is now the next day. Just got done with Saturday Morning Live, season five, episode 23, where we talked about all this. And, and this is the video that we talked about because y'all were like, we better see a build video. And I'm like, I'm doing a build video right now. Oh shit, that's a long screw. Mm. There's three of them too. That oh, was a sturdy sh Damn it. I can't do this if I gotta keep answering the phone. coming back to me now so I had to space everything out to make it work and obviously we need a paint job and it's so it's so echoey right here now like hey hey Oof. oh yeah it's a lot of work here a lot of work I should probably rewire too because I don't I'm not going to need these mid, mid level. That's terminated right there. So I could, uh, I could probably cut it off right there or maybe just go down. Oof. Oof. It's getting real. It's getting real.
I think. Well, I got three, uh, two by eight by eight, two by ten by eight. Two by ten by eight, and two by eight by eight. Ooh. here I would say it's day four or five but I don't even know what day we're on now besides Monday and this is absolutely not what I want to be doing on a Monday so time to get this ready for painting <sighs> I knew this was coming yeah one thing leads to another and you know and uh demo cleanup too Wisteria. This is, this is how I paint. ceiling because I did the whole front of the shop and I didn't didn't ever get to this so yeah so I'm not too worried about these uh these stripes right here because now that's just spurred me on to do do the ceiling uh but first I'm gonna I'm gonna put the shelf together the whole point of this y'all see what uh see what I gave Kim there gave her a big K over her desk Ooh, I'm gonna put some new cover plates on those. And uh, probably maybe do another. You know, I'm gonna use 
I'm gonna use a light strip for back here, but right now I gotta make room. I gotta make a two by four foot section, which is basically this. Uh, so I don't know what I'm doing with, uh, I gotta check that plug too. I don't even know if that plug's alive. Um, yeah, so I could build it right here, two by four, and then like drag it around. But uh, now it's time for the shelving stuff to get done. Hmm, I'm gonna uh, figure out what I'm gonna do with all this. Oh, that's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt. I guess I'm gonna cut off the, cut out a section right here and use this for something. You now I almost thought about putting a false wall up here to cover all this up and cut it out like it was before. Uh, I may still do that if I put if I put a shelf up right here it's gonna be it's not gonna be right up against this anyway so even if I do decide to do a false wall I can probably even with the shelving unit full since I'm gonna kind of space it away from the wall I'll probably still be able to do that I don't know if I want to do that or not though because that's over eight foot tall ceilings uh, so that's gonna be look weird because you know four by eight have to actually know what you're doing to tie stuff together correctly looking but anyway that's it's shelf time yay oh my god and so the real video begins <sighs> the floor is so dirty i want to put tile down like that fake tile that i have up there oh shit Oh, I'm sore from painting yesterday. Woke up this morning and last night I was just like, oh my God, my shoulders and my arms from... Shut up, Jason. All right, so this morning we've got building the uh, shelf, um, putting it there, putting lights on it, fixing the plugs, and... Uh, and, and uh, I've got a lot of jobs that I've got to do today, so I don't have a whole lot of time to do this, except for this morning and, and late this afternoon. Oh, I really 
really need to sharpen that knife. And, uh, you know, I don't know how it's going to be used quite yet. So, uh, really, I'm just going to stack some boxes up here. The bottom shelf is going to be for the bigger, heavier stuff. So, I want to kind of make it the right size for everything. So, what I'll do is stack up a few of these. A few of these. The wire box right there, because I may shift wire over here. Maybe this container. We'll see. You get the idea. Very important step. And this is about as high as you can stack each one of these. We don't need no wall stabilizers. We don't need no stupid hooks holding these down because they're impossible to get on. By the way, if you're building one of these shelves and it's just like hook, hook the cage through this slot, like right there, there's a hole somewhere right there. Yeah, and then you just do this. Uh, you get it up in that hole right there and then just kind of loop it around. It is next to impossible to get that over that wire. So just don't do it. <laughs> the weight on the shelves should keep them steady, right? I know it's not safe, but OSHA's not here. All right, now to get it moved into position and, uh, and load it up. Oh. <laughs> and all this stuff that's scattered all over the shop put on the shelves so i'm gonna leave myself a little bit of room right now uh i don't know let's just move stuff around and figure it out That's it for this video. I've started, uh, I've started, emptied that to that, which is what I was going to do anyway. I'm using that to clean up some of these lever handles that I've got over here because some of them are just parts boxes, but there's a lot of them that are actually levers. Unloaded Iron Man and can unload maybe Red Rolly Tower 1.0 onto that, but I'm still not sure. This is just going to be a sorting area probably for the next like week uh, while I get it all straightened out. Still got plenty of room, uh, so I should be able to unload uh, Red Raleigh Tower and possibly make a lock force section. I can get that into there very easily. I can get Red Raleigh Tower mostly in the bottom two shelves right here. I'm going to bring my electrical out from the corner that it's in now because I really can't get to it where it is. Uh, so I'm going to bring the electrical down probably on the bottom shelf. And uh, yeah, lit. The first Nakitoma. Nakitoma 7. Lit. <sighs> Thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments, which I don't know why you would, but if you do, you know what to do. Catch you next video.